that will be a signal for a change of structure in the markets. Well, it did flip the 200 MA right here and it has been holding up here pretty good, although it is rejecting the FTX saga right here. So simply if it closes the daily candle right up here at about 21.7, it's going to go right up to 23K. Now there is a CME gap right here, which it is denying to come down to fill. Now there is a CME gap right here, which BTC is not coming down to fill. There is also a CME gap somewhere around here which is right at about $28,000, 28 to $30,000. The fact that BTC is in overpriced territory, both in the stochastic and in the RSI, does not necessarily mean that it is going to crash. Because on the weekly, BTC actually broke out of that bondage. Now you can see what I am talking about right here. So you see that it has been rejecting off of these levels right here. But here, ladies and gentlemen, it actually broke to the upside. That is showing strong momentum to the upside right there. The stochastic here is still very bullish. And we can also notice a bullish divergence right here on the weekly time frame. So you have price creating lower lows and the stochastic actually creating a higher low right here. So why on earth do I still think we will go to low targets? Now, if you have been following up on this page right here and you've been keeping up with the BTC price action as we fluctuate within these uh, levels, you will know this chart. If you do not know, use the link in bio and join the Telegram or Discord group completely for free or follow me on Instagram where you can get uh, daily updates in the moment. Now, if we go back to the past right here, and this will be putting us right back to 2015 bear market, you will see that as BTC broke to the upside right here, and this right uh, here is, the, is on the weekly chart, so you can chart this on the weekly, you will see that BTC, when it broke out of this uh, bondage right here and escaped gravity, it actually went up but went above the 100 and 200 weekly EMAs. The same thing happened right here in 2019 when it escaped this uh, eternal damnation right here and went up. It went above the 200 and the 100 weekly EMAs. So we should expect that the same thing should be happening here which it is not. It is the same fractal. Yes, we were in a descending channel right here. We broke to the upside. Descending channel right here broke to the upside. And here, same thing. Only that we are not breaking out with the exponential moving averages on the weekly right here. So, of course, I will be making profits as BTC goes up, but I consider 31,000 as the highest zone 